Revolutionary T1D Clinical Trial at IU School of Medicine, A New Hope for Diabetes. Very exciting research going on at Indiana University as the School of Medicine conducts a new clinical trial to target recently diagnosed type 1 diabetics. The study will follow the efficacy of preserving insulin production in patients who still have some beta cells that have not suffered destruction in the pancreas. As this channel has reported, scientists are finding more and more dual uses for drugs that already have FDA approval in many clinical trials to fight type 1 diabetes from different angles. Now, this exciting new clinical trial is named Tadpole. That is short for targeting type 1 diabetes via polyamines. So, what are these polyamines? They are organic compounds that interact with molecules such as our DNA. They also play multiple roles in cell growth, survival, and proliferation. According to PubMed, changes in polyamine levels are associated with aging and disease. Now, the interesting point about dual-use medications in treating diabetes is this drug. Well, here we go. It's called adifluoromethylornithine. Oh my gosh. Happily, for this clinical trial, the drug is simply referred to as DFMO. Since I got through that on one try, will you help me by hitting the like and subscribe buttons? Your support is very helpful for our continued growth. Thanks so much. So more about this drug, DFMO. I think you'll find this interesting. DFMO already has received FDA approval for treating diseases such as African sleeping sickness. It's used in high-dose increments to treat sleeping sickness according to a press release from Indiana School of Medicine. In people with type 1 diabetes, the idea is DFMO has potential with earlier study results indicating this could help preserve the body's insulin production in diabetics. The treatment protocol will include DFMO in the form of a pill. Participants in this trial will be followed for 12 months and will take daily DFMO pills. In addition, each patient will have six follow-up visits with a team of experienced specialists. This study is designed to run for four years to evaluate how DFMO works in an overall regimen to get insulin production from the pancreas to the optimum level, according to the trial leader, Emily K. Sims, MD. The clinical trial will be across six study sites in the United States. With all these promising clinical studies focusing on type 1 diabetics, it's interesting that several are studying how different non-related off-the-shelf drugs may play a role in finding a therapeutic answer to this disease. We will continue to follow the development of these clinical studies and others who are working on new and advanced therapies to tackle this disease. Thanks for watching today and keep looking for more stories as we make our way toward a cure someday soon. Have a great day, and we will talk again soon.